Hello, this is Anne Getchu here with the Home Gardening Support Network and I wanted to show you the effect of beheading trees. These poor trees have been cut back really severely and as you can see the sprouts and the leafing out is starting but because the, the pruning was so badly done in my opinion the trees look like they were beheaded. They have these huge stubs with uh, poor little sprigs of shoots coming out. Of course, that's the reaction of a tree when it's cut. And often you find these big stubs that uh, develop. And eventually, of course, there are no birds. The poor birds have been denied of their home. So when you cut a tree like this, what happens is that you create an imbalance between the top that is the top of the tree and the root system. And of course, the tree will react. One of the things, of course, is for it to start sprouting as a mechanism for survival. But the best way to reduce height, if that is the intention, is to do thinning cuts. And thinning cuts are selectively cutting back. You can take up maybe the first one or two big tall shoots and do what you call crown reduction or crown thinning you reduce the the tallest shoot or, tr or branch to a certain height and you do this selectively each year you reduce the height of the tallest branches until eventually you do get to a point where the tree is going to be systematically reduced in height but heading cuts is really not the best way to do it because what's going to happen is that this tree is going to grow very quickly the shoots are going to grow prolifically a lot of them from one stub, one particular area as you can see and then what's going to happen is that because they are trying to make up for lost time they will grow even taller and before the year is over I'll keep you posted on this, the progress of these trees the shoots will be even bigger they'll be taller they'll be longer and of course the height will still be higher and therefore the home gardener or homeowner or the property owner is going to come back with the arborist again so it's gonna cost you you know cutting a tree like this costs a lot of money so if you want to save yourself money and of course create the environment that is more conducive uh, to the trees to the birds to the people around you don't cut your trees like this it's really ugly the best way is to do thinning cuts so if you'd like to learn more you can head back to the home gardening support network uh, this is www.homegardeningsupportnetwork.com. We have a wonderful videos on pruning trees properly. There's also a session and a class you can take on pruning trees properly. My name is Anne Gachuhi and I look forward to keeping you posted on the development of these trees. And you can see what I mean by the end of the year. Thank you very much.